Okay, this will just be a quick video on points of inflection. Okay, it isn't a big topic in calculus at all. You just know how, need to know how to do it, okay? So a point of inflection is, so we say that's our cubic graph. Let me get this blue here. So this looks kind of like two quadratics. It looks like an N and like a U. So if I draw kind of where the quadratics stop, so imagine that as two sort of different quadratics. Yeah, so one goes like that and one goes like that. The point of inflection you can think of it as this point here where the two where the two of them meet. So it's kind of just in the middle of where it starts going from uh, an N to a U. Okay, that's all you really need to, to think about it. And you also need to know about uh, how you calculate it. Okay, so the way to calculate it is you find D2Y DX squared of the curve and let that equal to zero. Okay, so put for points of inflection, you find ooh, d2y dx squared equal to zero, and it's this point here. Okay, um, yeah, they're already going to the uses of it. Just, just, they just want you to know how to get it. Okay, so we're gonna look at an example next. Um, let's go for a quick example. Example. Our example will be y is equal to x cubed minus three x squared minus two, okay? So we wanna find what the point of inflection is. We're gonna find first dy dx is gonna be equal to three x squared minus six x. And then we're gonna find d2y dx squared. d2y dx squared is gonna be equal to six x minus six, okay? And like we said, we're gonna let that equal to zero to find the point of inflection. So we let this equal to zero. We get six x minus six is equal to zero. Six x is equal to six, and then x is equal to one. And then it wants us to get the point of inflection. So if we want to find the y value for this x value, we should go back to the original one and sub it in, okay? So I'm gonna go do just that. Remember, y is equal to x cubed minus three x squared minus two. So y is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared minus 2, that means y is equal to 1 cubed minus 3, 1 squared minus 2, and that's y is equal to minus 4. So our point of inflection is purple point of inflection is going to be given by this point, this coordinate here. 1 minus 4 okay and that's all you really need to know about the point of inflection that it's that point there that the let d2y dx squared equal to 0 and then that's how you calculate it okay hope this video helped and we'll look at some kind of more interesting and some harder examples next